shoot. Hi, I'm in the Moorlander and this is Moorlander EDC. I'm outside today. Look, there's no garden, there's no brick wall behind me. I'm outside in the glorious sunshine and there's a dog yapping over there. This is what you get when you film outside. This is what you get when you film outside. Um, we are here today to look at the Rush 24 2.0 from 511 Tactical. Now, so I suppose there's a little bit to add to this. You've probably recently seen a video of mine where I looked at the Rush series. So what I've done was I've started to create a series of videos on backpacks that I see are iconic. Um, and I really do think that the Rush series are an iconic pack. So I touched on the series as a whole in that one, but specifically looked at the Rush 12. What we're here today to look at is the Rush 24. Now again, just to point out, so the Rush 12 isn't a 12 litre pack, the Rush 24 isn't a 24 litre pack. The 24 comes the, the allotted time. So if you're in the military or, or even if you're just out backpacking, day packing, whatever you're doing, you should be able to fit sufficiently enough in here for 24 hours worth of whatever you're doing. Whereas the actual capacity is 37 litres, so you can fit a lot in here if you need to, you know, sufficiently enough to get you through 24 hours worth of walking, hiking, whatever it is that you need to do. This makes it one of the better crossover packs purely because if you want to use this in the week as your daily carry, your, your, you know, your EDC, whatever you use to commute into work, you can fit a lot into this. Sometimes actually you can fit a little bit too much purely because um, you've got the capacity to do so if needed and then at the weekend you get home you take all of that stuff out you put your stuff your gear into it and you go for a good old walk be one with nature so there is a lot that you can fit into here now as I mentioned this is the 2.0 version so there are a few upgrades that um, 511 Tactical have made over the original series which are really more kind of ease of life things that they've just took whatever took before which was originally a, a very capable pack and just added some features to it which have you know bumped it up a level the first one being the internal storage within your admin panel here what they've done in this panel is they've been able to go through here just amend the layout of it so that you can fit a little bit more in and what you can fit in you can organize that a little bit better Behind this admin panel, which goes all the way from the seam on the left and right hand side down to the seam on the bottom and up to the top here, there is a hook and loop section. So when it's pressed in, it stays nice and flush. But if needed to, you can pull this out and there is a CCW section in the front. If you're out walking in the woods, you stumble across mama bear, you know, it's in there. If unfortunately you're in the city and you need to use it it's there as well if you do choose to off body carry when it's in and it's closed it does sit nice and flush plus on the inside way down into here there is a large um, hook and loop section across the front so that your ccw isn't just you know free balling in there you can make sure that if you have a hook and loop holster that it will it will hold it in place one of the additional extras. So on the back here, up at the top, there is a large um, zip. Now the zip entrance into this has actually been increased in size. So it's a lot easier to get into. So it goes all the way from past the left hand to the right hand strap. And there's a large pocket in here that is fleece lined. So if you want to put uh, your mobile phone in there, if you want to put any glasses in there or optics or whatever you choose to put in there, it's fleece lined to make sure that they don't get scratched at all. The last little thing in here, which is quite a big thing, especially if you're using this as a daily commute, inside the main compartment here, where before you had that drawstring kind of pocket that there was before now there is a dedicated laptop pocket or laptop section that you can fit a laptop into um, I haven't tried with a 17 inch laptop but I've got a 16 inch laptop uh, MacBook Pro at home and it fits into there with room and that's quite a thin laptop 
so I'm sure you could probably get a 17 inch into here if it's one of the newer slimmer ones if it's one of those old-fashioned bulky ones you might struggle but getting a 16 inch MacBook Pro in there is, is very easy very easy to slip in very easy to slip out now they're the main differences between the original and the bump up onto the uh, the, the new 2.0. One of the things that I did point out with the Rush 12 is, one of the things that have been took off, is you might notice before there was a drainage hole there and there was also two drainage, drainage holes underneath. They've now been removed. I'm guessing with the dedicated laptop section in there, that might possibly be because, you know, you don't want water to get in there. But if you are using this mainly as a out in the sticks backpack style pack, if you did get water into there, then water would come out or wouldn't come out as the case may be. Also the CCW section in the front, um, there's, there's no sort of lip across the top. You have lips all the way around here. The, and the, there isn't anything to allow water to, uh, to, to, to come out underneath if, if needed. So they are the main things that have been upgraded from the original to the 2.0 series. So what we'll do now is we'll go around the pack. The pack itself is very similar to the original other than you know, the bits that we just pointed out. Um, the pack comes in five different colours. You've got your standard black, coyote. This is the range of green. There is a grey version which has all of your pals webbing is in black and I believe there's also a blue version. As far as construction wise all of your zippers are YKK zippers they all have these nice accessory cord uh, pulls on them. Um, there is hook and loop on the front for morale patches um, and it is constructed from 1050D nylon so it's nice and tough. One of the things you know, I touched on in a previous video that makes this an iconic pack is when you look at a lot of service men and women coming back from wherever they've been, you know, they trust a lot in these packs and the construction of these packs. And that's where it's kind of got this, for me, an iconic level from. And I mean, feel free, feel free to put down in the notes. Do you have one of these packs? And if you have, how long have you had it? And does it still look brand new? Because I guarantee in a month or two's time, if you look down in the description, if, if you look down in the comments, there'll be a lot of people saying, you know, I've had one of these for 10 years and it still looks brand new. So that's construction wise, it's great. On the front, you have this large uh, administration panel. Now, as we kind of looked into this before, um, You've got a large pocket here at the back, you know, you can fit a lot into there. There's another one here behind it that's unzipped. You can fit a uh, eight inch tablet into there. And then you also have these pockets which have Velcro that go over to make sure whatever you've got in there stays in. Especially useful if you're traveling. Behind your administration panel, you've then got your CCW compartment. Um, that's got the hook and loop in there. So if you're carrying a smaller pistol, obviously the one that I've got in here is, is pretty large. Um, and it, it does poke out the top, but when there's nothing in there, you can press the hook and loop against it to make sure that nobody can see anything that's inside there. Um, outside of maybe places that you can carry a CCW, here in the UK, it's actually really useful just to have something that's a slip pocket. When it's pushed on in, it really just looked like a normal seam, so you don't think that you can get into there. But being able to have something that you can just slip off your shoulder, get your hand in, whatever it is, take it out, it's actually really good for that. I found that this has been great in the winter for uh, hats and gloves. Take them off, put them in. If you need them again, then you can take them off and they're just there. Above there, you then have these other two extra um, easy access pockets. On the, Rush on the Rush 12, it's just one big pocket that comes down, whereas on this one, you have these two openings, and they're both identical on the same side. So you have a zip mesh pocket that you can put things like car keys into, and then behind that you have another fleece line pocket, which is great if you want to put your mobile phone, if you've got a GPS or anything like that that you want to keep in to make sure that it doesn't get scratched, you can put that into there as well. These are super useful, and the fact that they are um, ambidextrous, depending on what shoulder you have it in on you can slip that off get anything out of that like car keys put it back on again zip it up job done 
So that's mainly the front. That you, I mean, it's hard not to notice the fact that there is PALS webbing all across the front of this, even across the top here, so, and, and on the sides. So if you have any Molly compatible systems, then you can attach these to the front without any issues whatsoever. There is a large hook and loop section on the front there, so any morale patches that you want to add, you can. And then there is a single uh, row here, which you can put name tapes onto. On the side, you have a large compression strap, which is really useful. If I was gonna give 511 any sort of feedback, I'd, I'd try and see if we can get another compression strap here. Now it doesn't take much if you want to put a uh, tripod on the side just to have some spare accessory cord or some uh, 550 paracord just to help to lash something on. But I think when you're getting to the point that you're going up past 30 litres just something to be able to uh, add some extra compression but also add extra modularity on the side I think a compression strap on the bottom here would have been really good. When you do the Rushed 3.0 series, that's what I'd like to see on there. You get it on the Rush 72, you just don't get it on this model. Um, but one of the main features that I really like on this is the fact that you have this zip pocket. So one of the things that people often commented about is there's no way to be able to get water bottles or anything on the side. So here, behind this really large rain hood or rain collar, you have a large pocket that goes from this top seam all the way down to this bottom seam that you can fit. Now, Coca-Cola bottles are a standard size pretty much throughout the world. So you can fit a standard Coca-Cola bottle in the side and still have a little bit more room as well. On the opposite side, you have exactly the same on this side. Now what I've done with this one is instead, we've got a standard monster can. Again, monsters pretty standard in size all throughout the world and I've still got enough room in there to be able to fit a more knife as well. Unfortunately, if you've got larger clean canteens, if you've got larger um, Nalgene bottles, you're not going to be able to fit those in there purely because, I mean, you're pushing it trying to get um, one of the, well, it's not really pushing it, but think around that size of a standard Coca-Cola bottle. If you can fit one of those, then, you know, it'll fit here outside that when you're getting towards maybe half a litre or a litre you'll probably struggle to get that in there but again it also makes it um, really good for traveling if you're out you know you need to get something you unzip it you put it in it makes it great for that on the bottom which a lot of backpack companies don't do you have some extra lashing points on here whether you're in the city whether you're out in the country you know if you want to lash something to the bottom it makes it very simple and easy to do that on the top, it has a completely plain top apart from this really nice big grab handle and then you have that larger um, zip with a fleece line pocket on the back. Normally I'd go into the, the, the main section but I thought might as well do this, this back section first. So on the back here uh, you have um, somewhere that you can put a hydration reservoir. This is double zipped. So at the moment with the zip are down on both sides, that means that it's closed. So if you want to go in this side, you can go all the way across or vice versa and you can fit um, a large hydration system in there. One of the things I didn't mention in the last video and shout out to Copter777 who mentioned this is when that's in there, you have a rigid back panel in here that you can remove that and with that removed it does make the back of this section a lot more malleable um, and it means that when you've got it on your pack or at least when you've got it on your back it makes it a lot easier to be able to carry in it it definitely conforms a lot more to your back one of the biggest things that everybody talks about on the 511 rush series is the yoke system that they have on their suspension system it makes carrying a pack like this so much easier. The yoke is the section here that goes across your back and it fits really nice and snug on your back and it does relieve a lot of the pressure. Rather than having to have uh, a tightening system that pulls it closer to 
to you, a lot of this alleviates the weight rather than it being two separate straps that pull down on each of your shoulders. This fits like a yoke, like you'd be carrying milk back from the farm. It fits like a yoke and it, it definitely is a lot nicer whilst carrying it. As you'd expect, there is a great sternum strap on there. Um, some people really like sternum straps, some people hate them. Personally, I'm a sternum strap kind of guy, I quite like them. I find again it just alleviates a little bit more of that pressure on your shoulders. And then what you also have on the sides here are two two inch um, D-rings so that if you want to put a belt onto this then you can do. Everything else on there is nice and flush. There are some grooves to allow some air in there but you know if you're going to sweat, you're going to get wet at the end of the day, um, but it just means that it will dry out a lot faster. And then the last bit really is the main compartment. So again, you have ambidextrous opening, YKK zippers, um, and these are the big, nice size 10 zippers. You don't get um, AquaGuard zips on this. However, what you do find is each of all of the zips all around the pack have these really nice, thick, rain hoods so if you're worried about water getting in there obviously no zip apart from maybe an aquaguard zip is 100 percent waterproof but with these rain hoods it does stop all of, well let's say 95 percent of the water getting into your pack on a torrential downpour if it's just a little kind of you know it's just blah, 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 spitting a bit then that's fine blah, 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 blah. i don't know where that came from moving on swiftly so as mentioned this is a 37 litre pack what I've used is, you can quite handily use the compression straps here to make sure that if you're zipping stuff down and your pack's full, it just does it halfway, or at least so that your things don't fall out. But you know, I've got something to keep, make some water, an extra layer just in case it gets cold, a, a litre bottle there. I've got some extra pouches that I use for my camera equipment and just some extra things in there as well. It pulls all the way down. It's not a full clamshell, technically speaking, because there is a good two or three inches here at the bottom to stop it from opening full. Um, but if you want to, you know, with the YKK zippers, you just pull it, open it, rip it open, and it opens perfectly. Here on the inside, you'll be able to see there is this nice large uh, laptop section. There is a keeper there as well, and then you can see on the inside through these sides and the back these are lined and mainly that's because of these pockets here so you do need to remember that whatever is it in this pocket will come into the pack slightly just to change some of the dimensions that are in there and as you'd expect from 511 the fit the finish the quality is it's amazing, it really is. There is a reason why hundreds and thousands of servicemen and women around the world use this pack. It just is a great pack, whether you're in the military, whether you're not. You really can't get better than the Rush series. You know, they're great. Sound like I'm blowing smoke up 511's arse here. And maybe I am a little, but do you know what? There's a reason why people do that, and that is because they're just great packs, <laughs> they really are. One of the things that I didn't mention in the previous video as well is, you get exceptional value for money here as well. So this is a 37 litre pack and it comes in around about 100 pounds. And for that amount of money for the features and what you get on this, you can look at other manufacturers and they'll, they'll charge you two or three times that amount. So I suppose it's your every man's pack, or woman's I suppose. Now, I'll leave some descriptions, I'll leave some links in the description below. Some of those will be affiliate links. Um, I'll get a small kickback from those, but that helps my channel if you choose to use them. There are some other links there as well if you want to follow me at morelander underscore edc. Uh, full disclosure at this point as well, you know, I, I, I purchased this with my own money. This wasn't sent to me by 511 Tactical, so, you know, all of these opinions are my own. I've, I've not been paid to uh, to like this pack. You know, just so happens that it's a great pack. Um, yeah, I, I guess that's it for now. So, you know, stay safe, stay in Wallander, and stay EDC.